Okay, here we are at Ashton Playing Fields just to do something which we'd uh, wanted to do for uh, well, probably a couple of years, which is to do a little video of this. Obviously, we hope things will be further advanced than they are. Um, just lately, world events have overtaken that, which is fair enough, we're not complaining, and hopefully everything will be worth the wait. Um, the playing surface has been worked on. It's actually looking quite good. Um, a little bit of flattening out will be needed. Um, the, the work down this side, the 1.6 million pound renovation of this side has been put back, which um, obviously um, isn't ideal, but then again, it is what it is. And hopefully that work will pick up. So there are meant to be hub buildings along here. And then along this mound area, there should be a um, 350 seater grandstand. I um, mean, okay, just a more detailed look down this side. Um, I believe there is going to be improved flood lighting. Flood lights here, they look too bad. I think, you know, the issue is will we be going outside this fence or inside it? I think there'd be a little bit more atmosphere if they could build the stand within this. Um, long jump area but obviously the balancing act is to keep the field events as well so let's see what happens there so trying to picture it now with um, 2,000 noisy Woodford Towners in so I need to use a little bit of imagination at the moment but we thought we'd record this for prosperity okay there's a number of buildings here which could be considered um, for multi-use I think you can see over there possibly good for a club shop um, people would like to get involved with that um, we very much want it to be a community effort um, a community based club we've got the Astro um, area at the back here some people training on it today and we very much see that as um, you know, football classes, etc., linked to the club, um, and we feel that there's a lot that can be done to involve the community. Um, the other pitches at the back there, hopefully, this will see a knock on benefit for them as well. So, all looking very, very positive here. Maybe not much at the moment, I'd say, with a lot of hard work, a bit of imagination. Um, hopefully we can make this work. Okay, this is the side area away from where the main stand would be. Um, I think it's the dream of many of the maybe sort of die-hard supporters, the Woodford Towners, that we could turn this into some sort of popular side, put some sort of roof in. Um, maybe something even local business might want to get involved in. But, um, you know, we've got the, the main stand would be over this side, but we could definitely see something being done there. It's nearer the pitch, would create a bit of atmosphere, which is always something that will attract people to football. Again, it comes back to that word imagination. Um, I think you've got to have it to, to picture what we could do, but we have got a ground and that's the main thing and things are definitely moving forward. Quick report on the pitch. Um, this has obviously been flattened lately. Um, we came over here probably this time last year and there were big sort of tire marks on it. Um, clearly sort of the work hadn't particularly knitted. But this is looking a lot, lot better. This is, well, it's definitely better than some of the services in the Essex Senior League at the moment. Um, quite a few of them. Um, a little bit bumpy, but there's obviously more work to be done on it. Um, this stage of it I think is uh, is looking really good and promising so 
probably the biggest positive from what I've seen today. Uh, you could definitely get two goals on here now, mark it out and play a game. Obviously there's a lot more to be done than that, but it's important we get the surface right and from what I've seen this is a good start. Okay, last part of the video, um, there'll probably be those who, who would be disappointed with what they've seen, but I so say I think people have got to take an open mind. Um, certainly the health of people in the borough and the and the, the world, in fact, is more important than what's happening in this ground at the moment. But it'll be interesting to, when the ground is completed, to maybe reflect back on this video, say, see where we were in this point of time, where we'll be in the future. And hopefully um, there's lots of positive things for the community and the football club ahead. So I hope this gives you a, a better picture. We get lots of questions, what's happening, you know, has the work started? Um, at least we hope that will clarify it for a lot of people. And we hope a lot of people will get involved when we do get home.